Former Western Cape Legislature Speaker Masizole Masela has lambasted what he calls the deafening silence of uh, government on the murder of uh, Louis Nkotla. Now you'd remember Nkotla was an activist and many will remember him during what became known as the Pooh protest in the city of uh, Cape Town. He was uh, shot dead during a meeting at uh, the Philippi train station last month and a lot of people expressing shock at this particular incident. Let's speak now to Datum Masela who joins us uh, live now. Thank you so much for your time. And, and, and of course, this has been one of those stories that really boggles the mind as to who would have wanted Uloiso dead. And, and you say that there's a deafening silence. Who are you pointing fingers at? Well, thank you, Bongiwe. Um, I know that it's today, it's uh, Workers' Day, International Workers' Day. Maybe Workers' Day to you. But thank to you. many South Africans, this day means nothing because they are not employed they are without a job despite many qualifications and all the necessary way with them to do so on the issue of louis so we had a memorial service last week on the 25th on tuesday in cape town uh, on saturday this week we we're in a funeral service in alice you know what is worrying about all of this bongi way is that you don't hear the footsteps of government. You don't get the sense that there is a sense of agency around the murder of Loiso. And one wonders whether is it because he was not one of them, he was not a minister in government, he was not a mayor or, or, or a premier of a particular government. So it's, it, there is a, there's an, a, a very you know, troubling uh, character in terms of how government is responding to this. But one is not shocked because at the memorial service in Cape Town, the, the, the premier was not there, the mayor was not there. Uh, in the memorial service of this great South African was met at trying to fix the lives of South Africans in Cape Town. Let alone the national government, they were not there. The, the prov provincial police commissioner was not there. The, the National Minister of Police was not there. Now, the question that I'm asking myself, who must die next for crime to be taken seriously in South Africa? Who needs to die first in order for something to be done drastically to ensure that crime is something that can be addressed by this government in a very serious way on a very urgent basis? Now, we are very disturbed because Loiso was an activist a, a person who given everything to the people of Cape Town and South Africa and who has done everything he could to better the lives of the poor, the downtrodden and the most vulnerable in our society. And, now, and, the last thing we expected yeah. is for nothing to be done to arrest his killers. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment in terms of the update on that uh, particular case. But uh, l l let's talk about how you believe they would have honored him because you say that they were not present at the, memo the memorial or even the funeral. But let's talk about what kind of honor would you say was befitting? Wongi, I believe that a person of the caliber of Lois Songotla, Babandla, uh, should have been granted an official state funeral. And it didn't happen. Well, it didn't happen because it has not happened. We saw. But the question is, what kind of formula do we use as a country to afford whether a provincial state funeral or a national state funeral? And that one of the things that I've made, uh, that I've impressed upon, is that we need to change the current framework and the policy guidelines that says these are the protocols we need to follow in affording one a state funeral. So, that so one of the things that I believe we could have honored him, uh, Bongi, in a way that is befitting of the kind of contribution he has made in our society, is one of giving him an official state funeral. So, that is it an issue, though, for you when you're looking at this particular story? Is it an issue of the, you know, the processes, as you say, and the guidelines of what, you know, who should be afforded these types of funerals? Or is there more at play here? And I'm hinting at the difficult relationship that he would have had with the government of the day and also looking at what was happening, especially when you look at the Western Cape setup and how he continued to agitate for certain things there. 
unfortunately, when we were people like Lois so are not friends to those in authority. It's difficult for them to be friends with those in authority because the responsibility that he carried was one of siding with the masses, the most vulnerable, the poor in our society. And when you become a friend of the poor, you become the, the enemy of the state. Unfortunately, you have seen how, for instance, all these parties that he served, how they treated him. Loiso was at home without a job for at least six years. But now, all of a sudden, you want to hear voices from uh, all sorts of life, I mean, all, all walks of life, people talking about how he has made this great impact. We know, we've always known him to be that person that has made a, a great impact in our society. And we need people like him at this very point in our history, especially given the nature of society as we see it today. For those of you who were close to him, what are your thoughts here on who wanted him dead? Well, there's a number of factors that play. Again, uh, Bongi, well, you see, when you've got a useless, useless police force, leadership in the police force, that's unable to take in, 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 who should have been able to, to, to lock down this area, Philip? It's a small place. Lock it down and look for the criminals. And then, based on that, because we've got to investigate, there are a number of factors which I can't divulge here because I'm not a bit about it to take place. But one of the things that we you know is the criminality that was linked to clearing that central lane because people had settled there. There were some people who wanted red seeking, you know, the people who are called, uh, the, whom communities are referring to as getting pro protection fee. And that is, um, that, that is one of the things that, among other things, was at play here for those people who wanted to extort uh, people like lawyers and others. But one of the other factors is what we, one would not want to get into the details of is the dynamics between business in that area. Remember, Loiso now as a businessman and working with the community to help facilitate the migration from the central line in an attempt to help Prasa to regain access to the network so that the millions of South Africans who are using that train, uh, that, that, that railway line from Cape Town to Kailicha can benefit again in the, in the service and reduce the cost of traveling from home to workplace. So, and now, this has happened. So now, if I'm listening to you... Who tends to benefit in something like this? So if I'm listening to you, Tatum Ngasela, you're suggesting that this may have something to do with that railway, railway line that was closed and it could potentially be people who still wanted that line to be closed. Am I hearing you correctly? The, the, there's a number of factors, Bongi. We remember the investigators are doing their work. And in the midst of that... One would want not to speculate about the cause, mm. but just to put a number of factors at play, which could, one or more of them, lead to a successful one arrest and a successful conviction in order to see these criminals, these animals going behind bars and going there for life. All right, Satum Masela, thank you so much for your time. And let's see then what becomes of this investigation, as you say, um, that it is important to get to the bottom of what happened here and uh, who pulled the trigger and to get to understand exactly what happened. But let me thank you for your time. Do appreciate it. Yes, Bongwe, that... Bongwe, thank you. I just want to say this. We also want Philippi Station, where his blood flow, where his blood is running in the street of Philippi. That station, Philippi Station, Philippi Train Station, the people are saying it must be named after Louis Tongo Samabantle. Thank you very much, and to your viewers. And Koska Kultata, that was Masuzole Masela, former Western Cape uh, legislature speaker there.